We're here in Old Town Temecula, which was built in the 1800s, and it was called New Town. Today it's filled with lively music, dining, and unique shopping. Let's take a look at what it has. Standing under the one of the many signs you'll see when you're driving through Old Town and Temecula. Uh, Front Street going through Old Town used to be US Highway 395. This is the main highway going from south to north connecting uh, Mexico to Canada. As a matter of fact it was known as the Three Nations Highway. This hotel is an important fixture in Old Town Temecula. At one point in time it contained a drugstore, a soda fountain, and the United States Post Office. As a matter of fact this building holds a record for the oldest post office in the city of Temecula for 35 years. We're now standing in front of the historic Hotel Temecula, purchased in 1960 by Dr. Horace Parker and his wife Laverne. His wife Laverne loved Temecula, and she collected many things that were original artifacts and relics of Temecula. You'll see many of the artifacts that Laverne collected Inside the lobby, you'll see the first switchboard for the Old Town Temecula, uh, containing all 22 lines. In addition, you'll see the mail front for the local post office. The Ramona Inn was completed in 1896, and in 1904, it got its name, the Ramona Inn, from a gentleman by the name of Joe Winkles. Joe Winkles had come to Los Angeles um, in around 1902 and purchased this building. When he purchased this building, it went from being a mercantile and a boarding house to a saloon and bordello. When entering the north and south ends of Old Town Temecula, you'll notice our beautiful granite and bronze arches. These arches were erected in 1999 and they have beautiful dioramas on them depicting early scenes of Temecula and its history. The city of Temecula became a city in December of 1989, but in 1859, about three miles south of here, in what's known as Original Temecula, on the Little Temecula Rancho, the United States Post Office established the first post office in this area, which is the eighth post office in Southern California, and officially put Temecula on the map. Now the Butterfield Overland Mail Service was one of the first mail services that was set up um, by contract with the U.S. government to deliver mail to the West Coast. John Butterfield, who had the Overland Mail, designed a system of, of muy rápido <laughs> transportation for the mail. This is the Butterfield Trail right out here where we're sitting. And this is one of the only urban trails left intact. And we purposely delineated it so people can see this is the trail. We can just put our feet right on it and imagine the rumbling of wheels, you know, of, of the stagecoaches coming through. So this is such a significant place. This was the headquarters for everything. To our left is the cookhouse. Behind us uh, is the bunkhouse. Um, the Wolf Store was used for storage and bunk housing. This building was the foreman's house. We put in a little blacksmith shop for weekend demonstrations by um, live blacksmithing tools and so on. And it's saved for all time. It shall not be destroyed. And it will be that touchstone to the past for everybody who cares to be here.